Oh no, no, no. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Like sweet coffee in the morning. Saturday morning. Um, what's the date, Kane? 21st. Oh, 21st of April. Um, yeah, we're just here on the Nongi. I've um, kind of had a pretty average start. I've lost my uh, good um, Reddington Behemoth reel, so therefore I can't indicate a nymph or anything to do with the floating line. All I've got is my check nymph. And um, yeah, it's pretty pretty average start. I've up and teared the house apart. So, um, sorry to my wife who I woke up, I was asleep, but you know, priorities. But anyway, um, yeah, so we're just here again. Um, same objective as last time target species brown trout heard there's quite a few in the system at the moment there's a lot of anglers around and um, yeah you're probably asking why the hell am I wearing a high vis it doesn't matter on the Nongatao what you wear these fish are so stupid you can wear whatever you want but um, yeah that's all good hopefully um, I get a few fish the high vis probably definitely doesn't help but um, I don't have any other clothing and this is quite steep and I don't want to fall down it so enjoy the video no? be my friend be my friend no. it's not working no. all eyes on me Yeah, boy, on again, tight lines on the chick nymph. This one's for you, Roger. Cheer, bro. In the video. Nice. Fuck, wow, that's a good fish. <laughs> Three and a half? Three and a half? Three and a half poundy bow. It's pretty skinny though, but if it was full, it'd probably be a nice fivey. Get him go. He's ready to go. Nice fish. Yeah, after lunch, bloody good morning session. I got ended up with four. Um, and they're all pretty nice fish, about the, the three, four pound mark. Kane still hasn't got anything. Eh, but um, that's all right. Gabe's got a, got a couple too. So um, he's just going down here. And... Uh, yeah, no browns yet, unfortunately, but we're going to go up the stretch where we've seen them before. So hopefully I can get one. Because I really... Just one. Huh. That'd be good. But, um... Oh, it's um, pretty pretty good fishing. There's a few fish around. The sun's finally come out this morning. Uh, I had to minim minimalise my vlog because um, it was pissing down with rain. Now my jersey smells like um, old people. So, anyway, we're going to carry on. Got my pie. Always got to have the pie. It's always bloody good. Um, so I'm charged, ready to go. It's currently 12.30. And, um, yeah, crack on with the day. Okay, so, um, lately I've been getting a lot of um, messages going, um, 
just inquiring about what my check nymph setup is and um, well, how how I check what what check nymphing is. So basically, check nymphing or um, short line nymphing is a European way of nymphing, I think. But um, I'm just going to show you my setup. So on on my reel, I've got um, Rio's Euro nymphing line, and attached to that, I have three um, three strands of bicolor that you can get from hunting and fishing, and that's usually 12 pound um, and that acts as your indicator so you can watch that and um, when that straightens or stops or goes down and something a bit fishy happens you, you strike but um, the main way that I strike is through feeling the line because the, the line is quite sensitive and then so I have yeah as I say I have that and then attached to that I have for the Nongata especially or um, small well, smaller, dirtier streams. I use eight pound Black Magic Deception. It's cheap, and it's the most reliable I've found. Um, others will say Trout Hunt is amazing, but spending forty dollars on uh, fluorocarbon, I have to say, probably isn't worth it. Um, I'm I'm a normal guy. I have a normal job, and I don't make a lot of money. Give me a pay rise, boss. Anyway. So, yep, I have, that's how my line's set up. I have about, um, so I have three strands of bicolor and I have about six to seven feet of um, fluoro, well, it's actually not fluorocarbon, I think it's copolymer. I don't know the difference. I still catch fish, as you can see. But um, anyway, so I'll show you my nymphs, my nymph setup. So I have, um, one nymph here, which is my heavy ur nymph, and that, that acts as the weight, and it's kind of like a sea ledger rig. Um, and then off that, I have my point fly, I guess that's what it's called. Oh, the fish seem to hit that more than the than your dropper fly. So, yeah, so basically I just have this god awful knot, and um, yeah, so basically that's it. I use um, SLN master, airflows SLN master, and my reel is cracked because I dropped it. Don't do that. Yeah, waterworks lamps and liquid too. Reel, and yeah, just on that is some god awful line. And yeah, basically that's it. So um, yeah, I'll um, gonna go on this pool and demonstrate the action and stuff. Yeah, so if you want me to do a full-blown video on uh, my check nymph setup and my techniques and what I do just from scratch, all my knots and all of that, if that's something you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments down below. That would be awesome. Um, just a quick update. Not a lot's happened. Um, Kane caught a slabby cane bow. And if you don't know what a slabby cane bow is, it's, um, it's a black rainbow that has spawned and is about this wide and about that well maybe about from my head that long yeah not very big probably like in good condition it would be like two three pound but that's a slabby cane bow so yeah so Kane got a slabby cane bow true to his name um but yeah haven't seen a lot of fish around we're gone into the upper reaches of the Nongi and um, she's, yeah, no, she's pretty dead. Um, the lower definitely seemed to be holding a few more fish, but um, we're gonna push on up. There's a few bigger pools that I'd say might be holding the elusive brown trout that I'm really annoyed that I have not even seen or caught yet. Um, I've had reports of people catching lots of them. Um, so, yeah.
moo. <laughs> Animal. Oh, it's not a that, that head. Get that on film. Get it. Oh, yeah. Cain, fish! Cain! <laughs> oh, that was. Yeah, shit, yeah. Did I get that on film? A pound bow. Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, that's not an egg eater. No, no. I thought you said it was a filthy egg eater. No. Oh, because look at that. Oh, oh. mate, oh. we're going to have to take it to the hospital. Ain't like that. Oh. Yeah. This one, nice. Mate. Oh. Oh. Bit of a football, this fella. Nice, nice cream fish. Oh, let him go. Go on, mate. See ya. Right back in there. Quite a nice brown in here. It's just sitting in the back just here. Let's see if I can it's just back here somewhere. Uh -oh. oh no, oh no. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh no, no. Oh you was a brown oh. Oh. just in case it wants to run oh here you go um I don't think so <laughs> it's a real nice bow eh there you go Gabe oh. he's kind of like he's like yeah now I've given up and then it's yeah. like nah he's like I got you bitch <laughs> yeah! That is amazing. I cannot believe it. That was the worst net job we've that was ever had. Probably the worst net job I've ever seen in my life. Three and a half. Yeah, that's no, alright. It's, it's not a bad fish. It's got a. Hit the green one. It's a nice fish. It's just green. Yo, so that's gonna conclude our day. Got the cows going, mental over here. Don't know why. Sounds like Kane just got a snag back there. But um, yeah, all in all, it was a good day. Can't believe I dropped that brown, kicked my ass. Um, that was my moment, that was my opportunity, but there's always next week. Stay tuned guys, um, thanks for sticking around, uh, I'm going to try get this whole brown thing locked down, I need to get it, it's driving me insane, I can't believe I haven't caught one yet, so hi to the cows, they've been amazing, if you guys want me to do a proper video on my check nymph setup and how I, how I fish the check nymphs, please leave a comment below or message me directly and I'll uh, oblige but um yeah thanks guys make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff me and the cows say goodbye to you and yeah see you next time <laughs>